welcome to my mess. If you're new here, my name is Misty and I own an antique store in Bedford, Indiana called Wildflower Antiques. And I also am a full-time reseller on eBay Poshmark Mercari. And I have been trying to revamp and restage my shop. This is video three and it's going well, but it's going slow, but that's okay. Uh, part one and two focus a little bit more on the front area of the shop. This video is going to focus on the middle section of the shop. So part three is going to be what it looked like before. So I'll go ahead and show you a little bit of that now. Now keep in mind, I have been actively moving things around. So there's going to be some really messy spots and I'm actually in here today trying to fill in those spots and to try to get things ready to open because we open tomorrow and I can't have it just willy nilly everywhere. So let me go ahead and show you the middle section of the shop as it sits right now. This is a piece of furniture that we just got. So I am actively filling it and it's in the red section. I will link the other videos below so you can see that I have color coordinated some things and this is the red section and I love red. I love kitschy and vintage 1940s, 1950s. So this is like my Mecca right here is all of this red things. And I'm all, my eye is always drawn to red and teal and yellow. That's where my, my eyes always go to. So this cabinet I think will look great with some red in it and i have three of these little vintage fridges pirates fridges that i'm going to display where's this other one hiding at there he is i think i'm going to stack all three this one's kind of orange it's not as red as these other two guys maybe i should put him in the orange section whoops there you are so I, this, and this, this is just the cutest thing. This is a little um, vintage washing machine and a little Fisher Price. So I'm putting red items because this is just chock full. So I need to make some space. These little pixie salt and pepper shakers in the original box. I mean, these actually were mine at my house, but I decided to bring them to the shop. Aren't those cute? Uh, so I'm working on this section today. There is the counter and it is a hot mess. Um, we've moved a couple more things around and my daughter makes these leather cuff bracelets. So these are made by my daughter who is very crafty. She just takes old leather belts, adds a snap to them, puts vintage buttons on them and sells them for $10 a piece in the shop. So that is that. And I, these are all the t-shirts I have left. Uh, the, I'll scan around here. This is, well, you can't really tell because there's stuff on it, but um, I do sell these wildflower t-shirts in the shop for $10 and they are all silk screened and printed locally uh, here in Bedford. Okay, where was I at? All right, there's the top of the red cabinet. So I've got to figure out something to do with all this because I just kind of have things piled up. There's some red games that need to go in the red area. This cabinet, I don't know what I'm going to do with yet. It's just kind of sad right now, honestly. I need to figure something out. Pinky is my favorite piece of furniture. He is also looking very sad because I've been pulling things from this area to put into the front of the shop. Girl, now this little pink Cute. section my daughter has done and it is okay and ready to go. Uh, I've just gotta, I've gotta get all this stuff figured out. So here's, I'm just gonna kind of scan around and show you what I need to do. I've got a bookshelf right in the middle of the floor. I'm, I'm gonna have to move that over. Up there is the stage, that's another day. Right now, today, I am working on this section. This is my, this is my goal today, and I hope that I can get it done. I can get this done and not lose my mind. Because I come in here with such high hopes and then I get so overwhelmed and I'm in here by myself today so I have no one to like give me a pep talk and cheer me on it's just me so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and move a few things around and then I'll come back and I'll show you progress on my mess it's time for an update I got a lot done I've been here by myself today so I've had to like 
hone in some super strength and lift up pieces of furniture and put on other pieces of furniture and move furniture. And a lot of it is cleaning and dusting and, and moving things. But I think I've got some progress. So I'll go ahead and show you what I've got finished for part three of this video. This is a new cabinet that we just brought in and I love it. I mean, I could have this in my house. And if I didn't feel like messing around with cleaning out a piece of furniture that I have and bringing that to my house, I probably would. So I got this and I, I'm, you know, obviously I got to keep the doors open because I have to use every available space, but I've got some things. I'm not, I got some things in there. I'm not extremely happy with the layout of it, but it's okay for now until I can move things around a little bit. I put those little fridges up there and I, where did I put the other one? I put the other one. Oh, up here. Cause it wasn't, it's kind of red, but it's kind of orange, but it's not really orange. So I stuck it over here. It's kind of the rebel. It's the, it's the odd, the odd one's going to go over here. I pulled out, this is a really cool medicine cabinet and I found some, um, medical related bottles and stuck it in there and I love this primitive table and again my story I love adding height to things so I put furniture on top of furniture I just like that look for displays and then I got this cabinet finished and it's ready to go I move my little Costco stool over here I I mean I still have a mess over here but I managed to this is a focal table that I have and Again, I like to add height to my displays. You can see there I have like a writing desk on top of the table. Suitcases stacked, some books, some mallets. So again, the hard with the soft. I've got metal, woods, crystal pieces, and flowers. I just like to mix and match the different elements. So I'm pretty happy with that. Actually, I've got, I have these toolboxes here. I'm probably going to put and kind of stack around that, I mean, I still don't know. I, this is another thing. I've, I have all these doilies and they're wonderful, but I don't like the way they're displayed. And so what I think I'm going to do is, let me go around my obstacle course. I'm gonna try to see if I can maybe use some of these drawers in this guy and kind of fold them and display them in there. I know they're not gonna stay folded, but that's an idea that I have. I poor Pinky. I, I I don't know Pinky. I have to I have to give you some more love. I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with you. You you are just you are just so stoic. I love you, Pinky, but you're just you're getting kind of crapped on right now, Pinky. And I'm sorry. You're just kind of an overflow of things. So I have to figure out what to do better with you, and I will. Uh, and I also got this cabinet. I moved the little table and another medicine cabinet there. I went ahead and put cookie jars in that cabinet. I still have the space right there. I need to put something here. Let's put, let's put this girl, this little Blue Ridge pottery Dutch girl. Let's put her. She kind of matches our little one. <gasps> our little guy who didn't get broken. Angie. If you guys watch Dizzy Angie, oh, he did get broken. Dizzy, Dizzy Angie, if you don't subscribe to her channel, her nickname is The Destroyer. And I think that she's, um, I've honed into her destructive ways, apparently, because The Destroyer is apparently making a, a, an appearance here. Well, that's just crappy. Okay, well, that's going to come off the shelf now. So, um, not sure where his piece went, but he's broken. That's the second thing I broke today. So Angie, you are honing in. You're like, getting it. you're sending me your destructive juju, I think, because I've broken several things. You leave me here. If you leave me here unsupervised, that's what happens. So I have a couple nails in this, these pieces of furniture that I'm going to hang something. I have an idea. I think I'm going to hang, take this really cool calendar that's been here forever in that spot and I'm gonna hang it right here hopefully it'll fit oops because that it fits perfectly and it adds a little bit of color so I like that so that's the update guys um, 
Again, it, it's a work. I still don't know. I got to figure out that. There's quilts in there. I think I'm just going to fold them and put them in there. I've got to figure out what to do. The, the thing that is bugging me now is that I get the front part of the shop looking all cutesy and nice. And then this part looks like all the, the leftover stuff. So I have to figure out something. We have some more pieces of furniture in the trailer that we're going to bring in here. This bird's eye maple dresser right there is going to come down. That is sold. So I'm going to do a display with that dresser down here. And then the new pieces of furniture we're going to put up there. We have a barnwood table that's coming in and an industrial cart that I think I'm going to put right here. So that's the plan. I don't like bookshelves, but you know, I have it and I'm going to put a price on it. There, it, I do have the, the glass doors that come on, that comes on it there. I have them in the back, but for what I need it for, I need the doors off. Again, I'm not a showcase person. I don't like to keep things in showcases, but that's going to be that for now. So this, oh Lord. And let me just give you a little showcase of what I have to work with because these are all tools and really cool like mantique type things, but it is a hot mess right now and I don't know how I'm going to rearrange it yet. I have to figure that out. What I think I'm going to have my husband do is put me shelving units in up on the wall. The problem with this wall is that behind this plaster wall is all brick. We've exposed all of the brick on this side and that was enough. So we all, the whole, all four walls, well, all two walls, that's obviously not brick and neither is the front of the building, but the, the two walls are solid brick. So it isn't easy to hang things in there, but I think that's going to be the best bet is order in order to, to display some of these pieces, which they are very cool pieces. I really like that ship. I need to move that ship somewhere because that is a cool piece, but it's just gotten out of control. It's just like a dumping ground and I don't like the way that it looks. So I'm going to um, work on this. So this is the next part, guys. The next part will be this section that I'm going to be working on. I mean, and I don't even want to, we're not even going to look at that because that just gives me a headache. So it's getting there. And as I get everything displayed and out, it's going to be time to decorate for Christmas. So that's, you know, and I'm keeping that in the back of my mind as I'm putting up, putting up these displays because I put up nine Christmas trees and I transformed the entire shop. So I'm trying to have in the back of my mind that I'm getting ready to do that in October because I do it right after, well, actually, I'm sorry. I set up for Christmas right after Halloween. So as soon as Halloween is over, it, it's Christmas time in, in, in here. Because I put so much work into it that I'm going to keep it up for a little while. So I, I, I do. That's what I'm going to do. That's the plan. And I'm, oh, I'm, I'm feeling good with the beginning of the shop. When people walk in, they're like, oh, this is a great shop. Until they get halfway through. Then they're like, oh. It's going to change. We're going to figure that out. Um, when we first opened the shop, it was we had a blank canvas. So we could just put things in a really nice and neat place. And then, you know, and it was clean and it's a lot of dusting. If you have an antique booth or if you just have antiques in general in your home, you know the amount of dusting that ne that needs to take place into, a, uh, into a, a place like this. So that's this video. I hope that you guys are not completely confused in the way that my mind works because I know that I bounce back and forth between thing to thing to thing and I'm like that in here too so I'm going from I can't just stay on one cabinet and just do that one cabinet and get that one cabinet done no that's not me I'm like going here I'm like a ping pong ball boing, 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 boing. I'll see something like oh that will look over there and then I'm over here I'm over there so um that's the way I work I'm not, I can't focus on one, in one general area. I'm constantly covering up my camera lens so you can't see me. So I'm feeling good. I'm stressed out that I have to open the shop tomorrow because it's not exactly how I want it. And I'm just kind of putting stuff in places just so I can 
go home and make dinner for my family. But that's it so far. I uh, hope that you guys are enjoying these videos. I really do appreciate all the comments and the words of encouragement. And it really, really, truly means a lot to me. So I just wanted to say thank you and just keep giving, sending me those positive vibes and the positive attitudes. And uh, it's, a, it's, it's effective. It's making me more positive and it's not making me feel like I am in way over my head to get this done. Because, you know, you put your mind in it and you can do anything. But I'm going to wrap up this video now. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit the little bell notification and you will get updated every time that I post a video. And that's it for now. I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful